Hello guys, Collar here, bringing you Game 2 of KTF versus OGN Sparkies, uh, played on June 8th. And believe it or not, OGN is up 1-0 against KTF. Uh, KTF is ranked number 2 right now, with a very strong all-star cast, and OGN's ranked only number 7th. But they do also have a very good uh, pair of Zerg players, Zerg twins, and one of them is playing this game. We have Luxury, one of the two Zerg identical twins. Uh, they're kind of like broodlings, basically. Uh, they hatched from one, uh, one queen laid one egg, and both of them came out. Uh, the broodling twins, <laughs> Luxury versus uh, Lucifer, who is a rising star on uh, KTF, a Protoss player. And one of the players who was supposed to be a great contender uh, to win one of the major Star League titles. Unfortunately, he has been eliminated from uh, both Star Leagues now, and he will not be getting a title this season. Uh, but he does have hope for next year. Um, basically, though, I think his, uh, his Protoss versus Zerg is a little bit suspect. Um, Jadong 2 0 would him, and, uh, well, you know, that's not saying that much because Jadong is the best Zerg right now, but uh, really, I didn't think his play was very inspiring in either of the games. Uh, anyway, so we have the map Andromeda here. Um, Luxury is spawning in yellow at the 7 o'clock position, and uh, Lucifer spawning in teal at the 11 o'clock position. And uh, the map is Andromeda. So this could prove to be a very long game here, and I do want to see uh, a good epic Zerg versus Protoss game. I haven't seen one recently. I've seen a lot of very short ones and cheesy ones, but I'd like to see a good one. I think this is a very good matchup here. I would say Luxury. Uh, I would almost say Luxury is uh, the second or third best Zerg player out there right now, uh, simply because unfortunately there aren't that many great Zerg players uh, around. Um, you know, basically we have uh, Jadong, and we have uh, everyone else is basically second tier. Uh, uh, not saying Luxury is bad, he has good statistics overall, but I haven't seen him do anything amazing yet. Although he is in the round of 8 uh, against, uh, in the, uh, sorry, in the um, OSL, but he's going to be playing against Flash in the round of 8. So basically we're going to see him leave the round of 8. <laughs> I don't think he's going to advance against Flash, unfortunately. I, I don't think he's, uh, basically if that happens, um, I, I, I'd say that's a less than 5% chance of that happening. And there's Nauro, by the way. Nauro, always looking handsome. And, uh... Here we're seeing um, a uh, basically a nine pool here from from uh, luxury. Sorry, I wasn't uh, at nine pool, and he's uh, upgraded speed, I believe, and uh, he's going to stop stop mining gas, and he's going to be going for a little bit of a pressure here, or at least to try to kill off any scouting probes. Um, interesting strategy. This is quite similar to what. Uh, what H15 tried to do last game against the Bisu build, and we're seeing this more and more against the Bisu build. Um, instead of going for a, a 12 hatchery and a fast expansion, we're seeing this 9 pool uh, business here, where they go for the early zerglings, and then they expand. Um, it really doesn't bring you uh, a lot of a lot of success, though, a lot of economic benefits, unless you get an early attack off, though. I mean, it does lead well into an early attack, however, I don't think it's you know, you know, as long as you, as long as the Protoss can hold off an early attack, basically the Protoss gets ahead naturally based on his build. And look at this, a third cannon going up for uh, Lucifer. He's going to play it carefully here. So Luxury, um, probably not going to get anywhere here. He does have speed upgrade though, complete, and uh, now five probes in the front for Lucifer. Um, there's no way that uh, Luxury is going to be able to run into, uh, get anywhere with this. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's probably just going to just pause in front of there. And uh, probably he's going to pick up a second expansion, um, I'm going to guess he is, uh, just to make up for this economic deficit he's at. Gateway going up, uh, about finished for Lucifer. And Lucifer, um, the reason why he's uh, considered so impressive is because of that nine game winning streak he had. But unfortunately, none of those nine games was against a Zerg player. And then he walked into Jadong, and Jadong just uh, stomped all over him, basically. So, uh, I mean, we're, we're yet to see anything amazing from Lucifer against Zerg. I think he's uh, 2 and 5 against Zerg. Um, Luxury is 60% against Protoss. So, uh, Luxury statistically is a favorite here, although Lucifer uh, has been such an up and rising star. I would say this matchup is quite even. Luxury has a little more experience, but Lucifer just has that uh, aura about him, the <laughs> uh, elite aura of, of being a great player. Um, and, and I don't know how strong that aura is going to play in this game, but I, I do say that they're about even, so this should be an exciting matchup. And uh, Scouting Probe is going to try to get in, but oh, wow, it actually does a little sneak there, a little double up, and actually uh, manages to get a few feet further, although I don't think uh, he's managed to scout anything important there. And uh, Luxury has taken his second expansion inside his base, so uh, 
but the, but the thing is, I mean, really, he needs to take a fourth base even to make up for this, I feel. Uh, especially if the Protoss player uh, picks up his second expansion very quickly inside his base. This map is Andromeda, where you can do that very easily. And meanwhile, Stargate is going up for him. So he's going for a standard b suit build here, so far. And this is going to, I feel like this is going to turn into a long game here. Lucifer now getting his lair up, and probably he's going to, I'm sorry, Luxury now getting his lair up. He's probably going to plant a uh, spawning, uh, Hydro's den right now, spawning pool. Um, and we'll have to see what Lucifer decides to do. Last game, uh, we saw Spear go for this interesting Archon rush, which uh, isn't that usual for Protoss players. Um, in the Pro League, basically we see them go for DT Harasses first, but instead he just decided to go in for the kill and actually worked out him for him very well. Uh, he didn't use the resources on Psyonic Storm until quite late in the game, and basically he didn't rely on Psy Storm at all. Instead he made a bunch of High Templar, used up all his gas, and just made three or four Archons and uh, destroyed, um, destroyed 815 with them. Now uh, both tech options going up here for Luxury. I think Luxury is probably going to go for a little bit of a Lurker Contain, although he could be going for, uh, who knows, he could be deciding to go for um, a couple of uh, Mutalisks, although I don't think that's very well advised against uh, the Protoss player here uh, doing the Bisu build. And uh, looks like Lucifer is going to be going for uh, Corsair Reaver, getting his robotics facility up also. A difficult to pull uh, build, but um, if, if it's done well, it's incredibly powerful. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Now Ra was one of the pioneers of this build, actually. Uh, I believe wa I watched a very exciting game. I cast a very exciting game of him facing. Now I forget whom it was, but uh, it was a very exciting Zerg versus Protoss game, and it just uh, he went Corsair Reaver, and it was just amazing. Wow, a lot of hatcheries going up. Fifth hatchery up for Lucifer. I'm sorry, for Luxury, i got to get their names straight. Luxury is going to go for a more of a Sauron build here. Uh, going to get a lot of low-level low units and try to overwhelm his opponent. Meanwhile, um, now we're seeing a robotic support base, so he is going to go for this uh, Corsair Reaver attack. And, uh, of course, I don't think Luxury knows this is coming yet. Uh, he's, there's no way he could possibly know it's coming. Um, but really, uh, it's one of the two options, so it shouldn't be that surprising. We could be seeing a couple of Scourge in the air, and we should be seeing Scourge in there once the shuttle is spotted. He's going to need to have very good micro with his Scourge, and now Ra, just looking statuesque there. Um, yeah, the first Scourge are out here, so uh, like I said, he's not going to be going for Mutalisks. He is just going to go for those Scourge, and uh, he might be going for some Lurkers, like I said, but now now that I see, uh, now when he sees Reaver Shuttle, uh, sees Shuttles, rather, and Reavers, he's probably not going to go for Lurker. He's probably going to just stick with the Hydralisks and uh, Scourge, and those Scourge suiciding themselves. That's a little bit of bad micro there. And yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be going for those Lurkers, uh, because he has gotten all those hatcheries. Uh, it seems more likely he's going to go for Mass Hydras. Evolution Chamber going up for him also, probably going to get that plus one Carapace, which is so important against uh, the Protoss player here. And, oh, ooh, wow, Luxury once again sacrificing another pair of, uh, and there's Flash, by the way. Hey, Flash. How's it going? Uh, Flash getting himself ready, I think, for a later game. Um, Flash is uh, set up to play in game four against Chowrenge on OGN. And more Scourge moving north here for uh, Luxury. I really hope Luxury doesn't just throw away the Scourge, though. I mean, that's terrible. Uh, just absolutely terrible. He's getting a Spore Colony in the front, too, just in case... Um, just in case... Uh, the, the